let's look at the next verse, right? The fallen ones, the Nephilim, are in the earth in those days and also after that. All right, now, this passage, I got to tell you, looking at the Hebrew in this passage kind of blew me away, okay? It just blew me away because it's an extremely important word that is left out of the equation, right? And so this phrase here is hahim vagam akari, which literally translates as those who gather out afterwards. This term vagam and gather, right? So you have this hahim, them, or those, vagam and gathered, and then akari, afterwards. So those who gathered afterwards. What you don't see in the average English translation is that they were, these Nafalim were gathering afterward, okay? They were here in those days, that is to say before the flood, and they gathered afterward. They gathered after the flood. What did they gather? Well, I'm going to give you a hint. They gathered the seed of men. That's what they gathered. All right. So this phrase will ultimately be equated with the rites of Molech and Molechet, which is called the passing through. In the Hebrew, the word is abar, abar, meaning to cross over. All right? So what you're seeing here, what did these guys gather? They gathered that which was offered to them by passing through. Now, you'll often read in Scripture that they passed their children through the fire to Molech. In many of those passages, and I have a blog up on this where you can read and you can see, that in many of those passages, through the fire did not exist. They passed through their children to Molech, is what exists in most of the earlier phrases. In fact, the first one says, they passed their seed through to Molech. That is to say, they crossed over. Many of you have not seen this word Moleket here, Moleket, that appears in this slide. And Moloket is another absolutely fascinating Hebrew word because this appears in Jeremiah when Jeremiah is talking about the women who were weeping for Tammuz and creating sacrificial wafers for the Queen of Heaven, the Queen of Heaven. Now, the Queen of Heaven is what ha this passage has been construed as in the singular, the queen of heaven, all right? But when you look closely at that word in Hebrew, this word for the queen of heaven, you're going to discover that the word is, at least in the Masoretic pronunciation, molaket, molaket, which if we look at it in a non-Masoretic pronunciation, it's molakot. That is to say the, flat, the feminine plural on the word molech, the feminine plural on the word molech. Now, we know that Scripture tells us that Satan can masquerade as an angel of light and that his ministers have the same capability to masquerade themselves as something other than, let's call them genderless individuals, genderless individuals in the heavens. They can masquerade themselves as genderless individuals. When we get farther into this, we're going to talk about how these genderless individuals are able to trap the seeds of human beings and sponsor a birth, and sponsor a birth. So what you see here is that you're talking about passing through your seed to molech, singular, or molechot, plural, feminine, plural, feminine, plural important, okay? Now, the question is, when you talk about this, that the Nephilim were gathering after that, did the sons of Seth pass through their children to their own fire? I mean, no, they didn't. 